Temporal Forces has fallen by the wayside in lieu of the newest set, but how hot are the singles and what are the most expensive cards you can get in this set? We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive cards in Temporal Forces, so let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel guys, this is VMAT. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining all the fun we have here. Today we're going to be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces, the Gengar set is kind of what I'm calling it right now um, because the Gengar artworks in it are incredible and it's one of the more valuable cards in the set. In fact, maybe you'll see something like that on today's list. Now with that being said, let's get started with the bottom card in the number 10 list and that is Ghastly from Temporal Forces. This is a amazing illustration rare though. I love the fact that you're not only getting Ghastly on the artwork, you're also getting Gengar and Haunter on there as well. Obviously those are his evolutions. So you get all the evolutions inside this amazing artwork, including of course, Gengar. I said we'd be seeing some Gengar and we're seeing it not quite in the Gengar card. We'll go a little later to that maybe in this video. So if you take a look the last month, I mean, its peak was around May 7th at about $21.55, and now it's currently sitting at just around $19.28. Still not bad. It's actually holding pretty well the singles in the set compared to some of the earlier Scarlet and Violet sets. So $19.28, let's call it around $20. So not bad at all for the bottom on this list today, which is number 10th spot. Iron Boulder EX, another illustration rare, beautiful card here. I love the colors, the vibrant yellow in this card, almost has a neon kind of look to it. Now it's currently sitting at $19.84, but if you look at the last month, the highest point was actually like 30 days ago, around April 28th, April 29th, at around $25.29, currently sitting at $19.89, around $20 as well. Now the next card on today's list is an A-spec card. It is Prime Catcher. I love the colors, the vibrancy, the pink in this card just really shines. Now it is currently sitting at $21.73 for its hollow foil market price and its highest price is around May 7th at $28.69, but not bad, $21.73, just a little over the $20 price point. And the next card on this list is Bianca's Devotion, another great trainer card. I feel like trainer cards uh, are kind of the, the hottest cards right now in Scarlet and Violet. Um, more of more often than not, it's like the chase card in the set, at least for the first two sets was Miriam, right? And the second set was Iono. And who knows, will Bianca's Devotion, will that be something later on that becomes more expensive card? And we'll, maybe it is, will be the most expensive card in the future? You never really know. But right now, uh, definitely the Pokemon are the hottest thing in this set right now. This is currently sitting at $35.70. It's actually the highest point. It was sitting at around $31.11. And that was actually April 28th, so around 30 days ago. Next card here is Iron Leaves EX. Now it is currently sitting at $37.90 and about 30 days ago, it was actually at high speak. So this is one of those cards that really has been kind of going down. 30 days ago, sitting at $43.64, which is like it's all time price right now. It's all time high. Next card here is Gouging Fire EX. Love the artwork of this. Um, <laughs> it looks like Ente is wearing kind of like, you know those coconuts? kind of what are those called the tropical kind of like fruit hats kind of looks like he's wearing that in the distance there now it is currently sitting at 39 dollars and seven cents now one month ago it was at its highest price point around 46 dollars and 78 cents so this one also has been kind of on the steep decline next card is morty's conviction and this is the one that i was the most excited about at first mostly because of the beautiful gengar that kind of takes up like one third of the frame on the entire card. It is currently sitting at $43 for its hollow foil market price. Actually, its highest price was April 13th to 15th at about $91.52. So it has lost a lot of value. And if you look at the uh, one month trend here, it's pretty much been going down. I do think it will stabilize at some point. It is a really beautiful card. It's probably one of the better like trainer supporter cards in the set, not just for its artwork as well. Next up, Let's talk about Walking Wake EX. Beautiful Suicune artwork here. I love the look of this card. It's currently sitting at $45.85 right now. For its market price, its highest point was $56.62. If you look at the one month trend, it's actually been on the rise. This is like a perfect example of a U-shaped recovery right now. Uh, will it continue to rise or will it stabilize around the $46 mark? Next card here is Iron Crown. EX. I love the card of this. This is probably the card 
that had the most hype attached to it. If you look, when the set got released, it just spiked all the way up to almost $100, $95.55. People think it's reminiscent to the most expensive card in the Sword and Shield era, which will, which is actually the Umbreon, the Moonbreon, right? This is kind of another moon card here. You got the moon in the background. Will this be the new Moonbreon? I don't know, let me know down below in the comment section. I don't think it will be. I don't think anything's gonna tie. I think that's gonna be like the modern grail uh, for the next like 10 years to come. But you never know, things could change a lot in Pokemon. Next card on the list is the number one card. This is the most expensive card from Scarlet and Violet's Temporal Forces. It's Raging Bolt EX. Beautiful, beautiful Raikou here. I Or Raikou, would you call it? I say Raikou, uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. Let me know uh, down below what you actually, uh, how you pronounce that. So this is a beautiful card here, number 208 out of 162. It's actually at its all-time high right now at $98.98. This card has simply exploded in the past few weeks. Now, if you look at the one month trend, it really, it looks like it bottomed out right around May 11th and then kind of had a little bit of a rise, went a little back down and then just kind of skyrocketed right now. Currently sitting at $104.25, making this the most expensive card right now in Temporal Forces. So let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite card is from this set. I'd love to know your opinions on that down below. And with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.